Hi, Dad. I had an emotional day. Oof. What? What's up? A uh, long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Nope. It's very... Oh, it's very tiring. <laughs> hey, Tribal, welcome back. Yeah, and so I don't do much of it. Any idea what was up with Mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. Well, that's... It's vague. <laughs> well... I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Yep. Ah, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh, no, you'll have that, too. <clears throat> Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. GG, thanks, Pop. So, how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, <clears throat> okay, I'll move them. TV time. Fine, we'll watch some bad TV with Dad. I don't really feel like Garble and Malloy today. And we're back! Great crowd in here tonight! We never leave for too long, folks. Say Garbo! Yeah, Malloy! Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree, none of them are angry and drunk. <laughs> Most of them, anyway. No, I mean, those old nights, those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. <laughs> and the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. <laughs> These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are, around the midsection. Oh, that's a whopper. They're not funny at all. Lloyd, it's company policy to never body shame. It's a good call, it's a good company policy. Oh. I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. <laughs> what? That's so good. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. So dad's gonna move the boxes. Whoop, let's see if there's anything on the bookshelf. Mom is only around in the morning and dad's only around at night. Mostly. Let's see if May has any messages. Hey, B, you there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? <sighs> Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you're like 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a good job. You're. You're doing a good job. Thanks. Let me get back to work. Night, night. Hey, kid. Hey, oh. Thanks for hanging out earlier. No problem, dude. How are your knife wounds? I ran them under some water. I figure that'll fix them. Sounds right. Sorry, I was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just. Yeah. Let's get some sleep, man. Night, brah. I'm actually really glad that we went and hung out with, um,. Uh, our friend there. Greg. That's his name. Greg. Gregory. Gerg. Weird dream time, everybody. I like that the factory is making train noises. And it might actually be a train.
wonder what happens if I just jump off the back end. I can't. Possum Springs, Deep Hollow County. Keep thinking about that knife fight mini game. That was really fun. The pretzel stealing one. I like that still. Hmm. Okay. So I gotta go up. The violin is really pretty. I really like it. Hi. That's odd. Okay. Yeah, it definitely looks like Greg, that little silhouette that I saw. I've never seen Greg smoking a pipe, but it did kind of seem like him, right? So maybe, okay, maybe it's below me. It's on that roof of this building. Okay. Oh, I can't stand on that. Alright. Can I jump onto this thing? Yeah, I can. There we go. Thank you. 
There we go. That's a little terrifying. Consumed by a giant symbolic space gator. Dreams of the Great Old Ones. <laughs> Away message. Annual Harfest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come on and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Happy Halloween, dude! Oh, I mean, it's my birthday tomorrow. In game. Get spooked or something. Uh, yeah. It's boopy. But the next day is the most important day. Also, do I have a Halloween costume? Dad, did you move those boxes? Yeah, Dad moved the boxes. Jesus, our house has some kind of labyrinthine shit going on. Oh, wait! <laughs> I know how to open this. Uh, left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Thanks, granddad. Haha, <laughs> it's opening! What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. I guess I can't handle the tooth. Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Mysterious tooth. I only know two things about this game. Grandpa is weird and I'm also weird. I'm definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller, regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. I've grown a little bit taller. I've grown into a baller. I now have this rabbit and this hat and this bat and this 6'4 Impala. Screw it, I am sturdy. Hey, trash bird. Don't talk shit about the bird. You know, the boxes are just in the foyer now. Hey, Mom. Mm. Um. What's wrong? Mm, nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Okay. So, what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Ah, oh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out why well, you decided up and abandon all the plans we've made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Where's this coming from? You know, you're the f the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom. I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we've been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide it wasn't where you should be. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Wow. That's not okay. Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? If you just isn't where we should be. You know what? F off. F off. God, you're such a child. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. No, you do not get to- Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself? Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family? Harsh tokes, kid. I'm leaving now. 
Mm. Wow. Wow. What are you, five? Jesus, kid. This is why you don't have kids. We should just let the species die. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. You wanna hear a new poem? Uh, yeah. Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Uh, cool. I microwaved pizza I'd saved. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. That's so true. <laughs> it really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yup. Me too, obviously. You going to Harfest? Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harfest is dumb. Really, I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? Yes, as evidence would prove. We are. No, I'm not. Eh. Well, and that's, I mean, that's the, the thing about nuanced, like, good nuanced writing. Uh, going back to the mom conversation. The mom-versation, if you will. Uh, good nuanced writing doesn't have, like, an obvious, y yes, this person is right and no, this person is wrong situation going on, right? Good writing allows you to ask questions about it and to project your own feelings into the situation and analyze things from uh, the, both the point of views of the characters involved. Um, so, yeah, that's good. It's good that you maybe don't feel 100% one way or the other on it. Um, also, a child's relationship to their parents, especially in this kind of second stage adolescence, is so hard. Don't touch my pumpkin. Oh, girl, I touch your pumpkin. Guys, pretzels. I'm gonna go give them to the rats. Stealing to give to some rats. Okay, nothing new here. Right, and it's not it's not actually on this screen, it's the next one. I love the transparent bubble around the tree to make it look like a tree, but you can see through it. It's so good. Let's feed these baby rats. I have also a pretzel for you. Eh. 
Man. Look, there's three of them now. Ooh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. Yeah, if you do this enough, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Silvex, you get the rat ending where the whole town is just overrun with plague rats. They have to burn it to the ground. I want to find the... Oh, everything's so great and harfesty, which is basically a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that, or I could wander a bit. Take in the harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. I'm gonna go, I wanna go and talk to, um... God, fuck you. Fuck you. I wanna go talk to the, the work guys. I wanna see if sad work guy's doing okay. Where are those guys? This is the residential area, so it's not here, okay. Also, where's Dungeons and Dragons guy? I wanna talk to him again. You hype for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get a pizza, too. All to myself. Wow. You have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online or ruining my life? Really embarrassing places online. Yep. See ya. Later. And we can talk more. Rip. Okay. Go talk to Ango. What's up, Angostura Bitters? How you doing? Happy Halloween! <laughs> hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely. Can't you tell? To your spooky face. <laughs> His little ears! Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. <laughs> Later, buddy. There they are. Let's go talk to these guys. You going to Harfest? Nah, I'm gonna watch a game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my favorite highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Eh. Ever seen the game live? Eh. Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest, you never know. Eh. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go smelters. Go smelters. Aww, these two are so cute. Alligator guy wants to support neck brace guy. Hey man, how's things? Good, Harfest rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. When I had that job that one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job. Ugh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now, and it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So what's up? I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, light bulb smashing. Oh god, I, I see I have to take a swing at it. Okay, all right, here we go. Huh. Bam! Jeez, these two are delinquent. Ow! Why'd you throw a can at me, you dick? Uh, 
Ugh. Ugh. What the F? <laughs> Jeez, man. God, you need goggles for this shit. Ba blam! Yeah, give me some more. Hi, fuck you, I hit your can this time. Bam, right in the can. The sweet, sweet can. Yeah! I did the math on how much these things cost? Oh, fuck you, dude! Before I lose an eye, we gotta stop. Oh, I am nowhere near that good a shot. <laughs> So funny. Just dome me with a bottle. So, what's up? Nothing. Okay, bye. Awesome. These two are the worst. This game's a bad influence on children. Can't right because she's ready doing the thing. All right, well let's go. Let's go get ready here. Get ready for Halloween. Ready for being a shitty kid who's mean to their parents. Nobody home. Where's my mom at? Maybe my mom's at church. I'm gonna get a ride on one of these goat mobiles. Come on, come back. Let me ride in the back of your truck. What a dank. God's house is empty. Okay, well, fine, fine. God's empty house. Hi, Mom. We had a fight. Mm, I'm busy. Damn, cold shoulder from Mom. Oof. That stings. That stings. Mom. I deserve it. Let's go see a fool. Let's go hang out with the drifter guy. He probably likes hoboween. Oh, hey, man. Howdy. You uh, waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. What, by God? By God? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job. Someone calling me, heading out. And I'm not showing up. You were meeting them at... The statue of Saint Rubolo. Yeah, the fire breathing guy. Who like eight people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Whoa! I'm pretty into this. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from Saint Rubolo? <laughs> Breathe fire. Eat people. Breathe fire. Eat people. Breathe fire. Sure. The statue's part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. 
Yeah, I want to go crime. Thanks, Saint Rubolo. Yo, you gonna go down to Harfest tonight? I don't know. Maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll see, I suppose. The Bruce Moose. Spruce Bruce. You want to call a truce, Bruce? Let's get loose. We've just found the coolest people in town. I'm, I'm, too, I'm too intimidated to talk to them. Hey. Tag yourself. I'm the bunny. Hello? Hey! Traveler from distant lands. You have journeyed far. And it has brought you here. To us. Uh, actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow loosed? Loosed? Really? I, um... You're all like 14-year-old goths. Why am I answering this? I saw the arrow. I definitely saw the arrow. False. You have failed. We cannot help you. You may see us once more. But it is not certain. And then never again. Okay. But I saw! I fired my crossbow! What are you talking about? Have fun, kids. Fun is all we have. Do you like practice that talking in turn thing? Mm. You're not gonna narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. Oh, I love them. Three weird teens I met. Oh, they're the best. See, like, that's the thing. Like, it's not really fair because we just came out of a scene with a fucking bow and arrow. I mean, I get that it's a crossbow and I get that fires quarrels or bolts, but still, like... Mm. I mean, I saw the shipwreck way at the beginning, but it wasn't even really a shipwreck. It was a, it was a fucking playground. It was as much a shipwreck as those were arrows. So... Suck it, goths. Like, if the game's gonna be unclear about shit... for Halloween. Yeah, nightmare eyes. Ah, oh, yeah. Normal clothes. Oh, yeah. Time to get spooky. Let's get spooky. Sweet. Witch dagger. I don't have to... I don't get to choose my costume? Oh. I do look pretty cool in my witch dagger costume. <laughs> witch dagger. I used to be a witch like you, till I took a entire sword to the head. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not going out. I'm going to go upstairs and play Demon Tower for the rest of my life. Hello? Huh. It must already be out. Harvest. Awesome.
Some kind of storky guy looking at his phone. I can't jump. I can't jump during Harfest. They didn't make a jumping animation for this outfit. Hey, when's the thing supposed to start? Um, 10 minutes, I think. You think? Uh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce, I wasn't big for this one. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah. I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They wrote it like six times in the past year to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now. It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. All right, opera sequence. Oh, Maria. Oh my God, we're just having it on the counter. Oh, I didn't see ye there. You have returned. Thanks, Jeffrey. Be ye ghosts. Are be ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? Through the mists of time, I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John! Yes, Brother Stephen? From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with a uh, witch. A spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and ar arduous travels, men carrying these 300 beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Ho, oh, travelers, how but extremely old woman? Uh, please help. Huh? <laughs> oh no! I'm made of cobwebs from being so old! Uh, the travelers had no idea what this meant. Haggard witch! Horrible to look upon! Cruel young men, ye did not even offer one of thy three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. Uh. Thy naughtiness must be met with punishment. Mm. I art uncomfortable. Um. Thy punishment is a curse that shall take ye and thee even this very night. <laughs> I was born among these trees neath the harvest moon. The one for GameCube, not the Super Nintendo one. And ye shall die under that moon. I'm having a really good time with witch voice. Brother John, I am a frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these yon pelt of 300 beaver. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. I want more play. Act two. Ye verily, bringeth me more entertainment. Ye 
Yay. Yay, verily. Help! Help! Who will help a poor traveler? Uh, um... By th the moon and stars above us, sir! I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? Y you're in this? Yep. Ah! Tis a witch! Y yep! I swear thee, friend, that this ve very day, this horrifying crone didst curse my brother and I to die. Zwounds! We camp by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred of pelts of the beaver. Oh! It chilleth the heart. <laughs> Welcome back, Chill Bob. A curse upon rude young men. That's not. Um. She, she has cursed the spring, and now I shall die. Arg! Wow. I I am also undone, for I have drank of the water. Oh, don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! Blah. And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Yeah, yay. Curse for blood. Welcome to, the Welcome to the audience, Northern Pixels. I present to you Act 3. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. That's how ghosts talk. It's a ghost accent. I am tormented by the accusing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. Woo! It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Exunt. Stage left. Uh, you have returned. Um, crap. For For what is a ghost but that which haunts the empty space that was once full? And once haunted? <laughs> Scruffy! And once haunted, can a place be unhaunted? You! From the b bus st station! Young witch, it is I, the, the god of the forest. Uh, I just didn't ex expect you to... Ain't that the way. So... Witch! Thou hast, uh, tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to, um, uh, wander around in the night. In, a uh, through the stranger places. <clears throat> oh, God. How did you know? Young, young witch, let me, uh... Let me speak some wisdom to you. We begin and we end. At night. In the woods. It's a night in the woods. Alright? I said it, okay? But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest God, thou hast no power here. Even now thy end beginneth. Ah! My... Infernal powers! Eww. Shush, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth. And uh, who can say what lieth in the world to come? It's a metaphor, you see. The play is for your life, kid. Because you, you went to school and now you ain't going to school. You get it? Wow. You beware as you go for there's ghosts. Woo! Take, take care.
And so it was founded. Then this festival on Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, may your ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn, which the Native Americans call maize. Also pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs. Chamber of Commerce. Ooh, commerce. Support your spooky local business. That was the best part of the whole game. It's the best, hands down, best part. Any game I get to do silly witch voice. Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So, what are we... <clears throat> so what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. To that ass. Angus is making dinner and we're going to watch horror movies. I'm going to touch that ass. Can I come? It's more a gay thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Speaking of gay things. Chamber of Commerce folks are going out to the buffet by Ham Panther. Kind of have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Me and dancing. Can I come? No. Okay, well... <laughs> good night. Night. Oh, my friends! My friends. This is garbage. Who's this mysterious phone looker? Hey, phone looker! <gasps> oh no! Yon murder is afouled of me. No, you. What the? Oh my god! Hey! Uh, anyone? Shit! Come on, draw your knife. Use your witch dagger on them. Where the hell did he go? Shit. Sorry, let me let me wire that for you. Shit. Soundtrack getting all weird up in here. For fuck's sake. May. Go home. Fuck the police! There's a guy up there on the hill! He stole some kid! He looked like a ghost! Uh, ghost, huh? You've been, you've been doing that... Smoking those jazz cigarettes? May, you shouldn't be out here. Especially not on Quaaludes. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No! No one should be out here! But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now! I thought I was home. Maybe I'm having another nightmare. Maybe I was smoking those jazz cigarettes again. Yeah, it's a police conspiracy. Follow the money. This is a horrible sound. <laughs> 